Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization VI. Um, we're, we're, we're doing things pretty quickly now, which is nice. Dan B., thank you for the follow. Welcome on in, speaking of which. Call and response. I love it. Um, almost done with that. Yeah. So this. Yeah, that's, that's our next goal. Get this plus five holy site. We want them to grow. Let's make sure we're working food tiles. I'd like to chop out that um, rainforest, but not until we get some more housing first. I guess I should have focused a little more housing. Maybe we maybe we steal that. Yeah, we're at seven of nine now. So we grow in four turns instead of 11. Is Anchor Watt worth building? I've built it a few times. It's it's not the worst. Um, there are situations where you where it could be useful, but it's also not, it's not gonna help you win the game in almost every situation. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an awesome first t-shirt, actually. Just a super in joke. <laughs> Buffalo, where where we like my first t-shirt has nothing to do with me or the stream and is only about how Daniel Craig is a great actor but a terrible person. Like on one side it's Daniel Craig wins wins the Emmy for this, and on the back person it's like or on the back it's like him behind bars. <laughs> Why a holy site? Uh, I'm building it for era score. I'm building it because it's plus five. And I also have the scientist that's going to give me science based on the adjacency bonus of the holy site. So it's worth five science per turn. It's going to give us era score. And, and we'll find something to do with the faith. Like maybe it's by a, a great person later or something like that. <laughs> um, I really could use some theater squares. Oh, sweet. Wait, why don't I like Daniel Craig? It's just a bit we're doing, Draco. I actually like Daniel, I like Daniel Craig a lot. I think he's a great actor. Uh, but we just randomly started at this bit where we're talking about how he's he's a, he's a great actor, but just an awful person. Uh, and we've just been riffing bits and uh, silly things about it since. Daniel Craig emote. That would be pretty great. All right. I am going to build this. I, I, I really don't think the workshops are correct. Um, but whatever. <laughs> Sounds good, soccer man. I have four turns until I want to talk to, uh, until I want to start this. Um, I'm actually going to get them a water mill because they could use, use, be able to grow a little bit. See ya, Muffin. I hear Daniel Craig doesn't wipe, wipe his shoes on the map before entering people's houses. I love that one. That's fantastic because it's because it's not like super malicious. It's just it's just uh, it's just indicative of him and how inconsiderate he is of all the people around him at all times. It's unbelievable, really. <laughs> Daniel Craig drives in the carpool lane by himself. That's a good one too. Daniel Craig doesn't finish his plate. <laughs> I don't know what I'm building here. See ya, Atlas. All right, we want some road infrastructure, I believe. So we're tied in over here. This works. We could use one across like that. Um, not a part of our trade system at all, or like barely. This kind of works. Maybe we'll try to send one from here home. <laughs> oh, major fan <band> geek. <laughs> I got I got to tell you if you're watching on YouTube, come over for the live cuz the chat chat is cracking me up right now. It's so good. So good. 
You're missing out. Seven turns on this. I love that this is going to flip to Russia a turn before. I wonder if I can harvest this or something. <laughs> I found a picture of Daniel Craig parking at the store. <laughs> the license plate just says Craig time. <laughs> oh, my God. Fork. Oh, dude, that got so dark. Daniel Craig goes to a no kill, goes to no kill animal shelters, rescues the animals, places them in a burlap sack, and throws them off the nearest bridge. I've heard worse about him. Uh, you know, that's the sad part is that's that's not even the worst thing that he's done. Like Jesus, you know. <laughs> <That's terrible. laughs> Terrible. Terrible, terrible. All right, so there's our theater square. Now we only need two. Mera. Daniel Craig doesn't leave the toilet seat up. He removes it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm going to save these shops, I think, for when we go and uh, we're ready for Rurther. Rurther. Rurther's Originals. Because <laughs> I didn't say the word despicable. Oh, I'm a bad person too, I guess. I'm a bad person too. 160 for this. All right, let's see if we can trade some things. I could use some gold. Sure. Our bro, Gilga bro. That seems good. Like that. Why not produce units? What would you be doing with the the units, Dan? Um, like that's so so. Yeah, I don't know. Upping upping your your military score at this point in the game, like yeah, it might it might deter this. But I'm in a position now because we've economized so well. We've got industrial zones. We've got lots of production that we would be able to kind of respond to any military conflict that we wanted. There there is an argument for building some military units here if you want to go and take some city states and take advantage of your extra seven combat strength. But I'm much more interested in, in a, like continuing to economize. I have un I have unimproved tiles. I have cities that could grow. I have the I have the potential to steal some cities via loyalty uh, here or within the next few turns. So getting them to grow uh, makes a lot of sense. So if if I wanted to go like take Mohenjo and take a cod and take and take things like that, take take anything really, um, then yeah, we could we could start we could start working on that. Um, but I'm in a I'm in a place where we're friends with everybody uh, and we can just kind of turtle down and and focus our economy. Uh, frankly, having 67 science at turn 118 is really low, um, and it's because we've taken the time to go industrial zone first, and then all the other districts, industrial zones, uh, commercial hubs to to improve the industrial zones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, so yeah. So does that answer? Does that does that make sense? I hear, I hear Daniel Craig is a slightly below average tipper. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, no problem. That's a great question. Yeah, my, my priority now is campuses and just development of my cities. 
So we can go to Mohenjo. Didn't they have a... Um, well, they did at one point. Go all the way to Valletta. Gives me production and gold. It's not the best in the world, but it... it, it we're about to get... Uh, we're about to end an era, which means if we finish this quest now, we'll get a new one when the next era begins. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it also gives us a road that I think we're mostly interested in. Um, so that seems fine. It's got another swordsman there. I, I I just... I don't know why I'm tussling with this. It, it doesn't make sense. I'm not going... I don't have enough... I don't have enough units to even siege it. So it's just not really realistic. Also, we should move Magnus. What the heck is he still doing there? Let's move Magnus. Let's, let's flip-flop Magnus and Liang. <laughs> Soccer man with the actual question. Uh, um, so I understand that YouTube is making their bullying policies more vague. Would these Daniel Craig's, Craig jokes possibly get us in trouble? Uh, I I guess, yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Like, is their goal to stamp out fun and joy and whimsy? Probably. It is. It is. It is. It is being forced in by the government. So, could be. Could be. I don't know. Like, should I should I stop that? And at that point, why why don't I just stop streaming? You know what I mean? Like, I just I get so mad at that idea. And like, it, it, I, I'm not mad at you for bringing it up. It's it's actually a very important thing to bring it up and consider what we're saying here. Um, but man, I don't know. And it, it bums me out just to think about. All right, we found our era score. We are all good. So we actually don't even need this um this holy site. So we may want to wait on it. No, but I can get fined ten thousand dollars per video these uh, starting next year. Fork. Yep, ten thousand dollars per video. Sure, I guess. Um, the last one was what? That one. Good. We don't need that. Already have that ability. Um, this one we, we may want just because we are getting workshops. Wait for what? Uh, for inappropriately designating my, my videos as not for kids. And then if a kid watches it, I'm liable. Not YouTube, not the kid, not the kid's parents, me. Google Copa, C O P P A. Welcome to YouTube, no fun allowed. Ten thousand dollars my vid video offend somebody? I, I don't I don't I don't know how it's gonna get enforced. I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't. And 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 my my other option is to give up eighty percent of my YouTube revenue and just say that my 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 videos are for kids. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I I wish someone would would explain it all to me, and explain to me what I should do. Mostly. Now I'm thinking about that. Now I'm all bummed out. <laughs> it's true. I mean, we've really, we've really, we've really taken it to, to Daniel Craig in the last couple videos. So it's, you know, I probably deserve it. What kid under 12 would watch Civ? You, you could just argue that I'm playing a video game and video games are for kids. Right? Hey Adarash, how you doing? <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Stream down. I think I think you are coming from a place of like love and concern, soccer man. I, I I'm not. Please don't feel bad at all. Like your your question is appropriate. It's the situation that bums me out. So no worries, man. Thank you for the the very generous bit donation as well. Thank you, my friend. You know, but like so so okay. Here here's here's a thing to think about. 
and I know I know this would tickle some people to no end, and those are the type of people that I, this is the reason I haven't changed it yet. But my my sub notification usually has like a joke about butt stuff. Like, I guess I should change that. And again, I know that it would thrill some of you to no end uh, if I did that, anyways. But like, is that is that enough to to get me huge fines? I don't, Hatterash, I don't think I know what that is. Uh, should I be embarrassed by that? I don't know what that is. What else could we be building here? I should like the trade route first and then the library. Production's up to 36 here, not too bad. Uh, finish our commercial hub. All right. I wanted to get this holy site down. Um, I guess next turn. And in the meantime, I guess we chop this workshop. Seems weird. Should have a married with children sub notification. As if my notifications aren't dated enough. <laughs> you can tell I'm old. Has nothing to do with offending people. It's all all about whether the kids are attracted to the video and then see the targeted ads, which is illegal. Ah, ah. I so what so what do I do? Just demonetize and and uh, abandon YouTube? Like I, I I don't like I don't I don't know what to do. You know, like and that's and and like I think that's a great you 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 shed, you cast a great light on that and that that's a good way of thinking about it and explaining it. Um, but like, what am I supposed to do? Like I, I don't make a, a bajillion dollars off of 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 YouTube or anything, but I was just we were talking earlier and how like the sixty dollars in ad revenue from Twitch isn't something I would turn down. You know what I mean? Like like I I I don't know. Could hire a lawyer. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I don't believe in astrology. I'm Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession, so that in these days of changing fortunes. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, if I'm going to hire a lawyer, I might as well just demonetize the videos. I know, but that's a that's a tough dice to roll, right, Fork? Like like, yeah, I don't think I don't think I'll get in trouble and then 10k per video. Like I would, I would, I would lit like even even one of those, I would be filing bankruptcy. So I I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I heard Lionel Hutz is on the cheap if you need a lawyer. <laughs> Probably here. They've got a good commercial hub. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Anyways, let's play Civ. I I I I I I'm 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 being boring by trying to learn. Um <laughs> All right. So this is a policy that we run as Germany. Uh not one that I typically run otherwise. Uh but this is pretty darn good for us. So that's good. Um town charters is whatever. I like where we're at here. And I really do want to get some builders. Or you could just read up on Bob Loblaw's law blog. It's true. 
Uh, we can start Cheechin now, which is good. Have an alliance with another Civ. That's doable. Um... Maybe we will ally. Economically with you. Is medical stuff expensive in the US? Yes. Did you see that video of like people being asked and stuff? And they were like, a hospital, uh, 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 an ambulance ride should be free, right? They just take care of that for you. You're somebody in need, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, no, nah, it's five grand. It's it's expensive being uh, poor and sick, weirdly enough. Um, what else do we want? We want we probably. I'm just gonna do a science alliance with him. He's our he's our main science competition, but I I I think he's having a bit of a rough go. Um, and and I think we have an option of researching the same text and having our research alliance actually benefit each other here. So we'll go there. Yeah, it's 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 a, we we it's bad over here. <laughs> bad <laughs> you'd think that'd be the logical solution wouldn't it happy days uh what do i want to ally with you I don't, uh, do i do i do i do i culture alliance here doesn't really matter now the news dating in 2019 is a nightmare oh man i would imagine <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, when I um so I had uh here's a little here's a little here's a little American health health care system sto story for you. Uh when I was 21, I had pericarditis for the first time in my life. I've since had it again. Um but what it meant was that as a as a college senior, uh I got basically uh spent a week in a cardio ward um trying not to die. Which was which was good, and uh, I didn't, thankfully, and thank goodness at the time I was still on my parents' insurance because my mom had good insurance, uh, but the hospital bill for staying there was like several hundred thousand dollars at twenty one years old for five days in a cardio ward. So that's a bit of a yikes. I know, don't get sick, right? I mean, that is some people's mentality, too. Well, just don't get sick. Well, don't have an unhealthy lifestyle. Poor people have an unhealthy lifestyle. Shut up. Shut up, you, 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 you lizard person. It wasn't my fault that I had pericarditis at 21 years old. Fit as a fiddle. Cost you 10k to have your baby in a hospital? Yikes, man. Yikes. I just, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Uh, yeah, I'll take your oranges. <laughs> Should have prayed more. <laughs> what is pericarditis? Pericard so your 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 heart sits in like a, a sack, right? Like a like a like a sack, a fluid sack. Uh, and your heart just kind of hangs out there and it does its thing. And pericarditis is, it's called the myelin sheath, I believe. Um, and it, and that, that sack gets inflamed. So things that get inflamed get bigger. And so it gets bigger this way, but it also gets bigger this way. And so it slowly crushes your heart and causes a lot of pain. Uh, and yeah, it's not great. <laughs> That's insane, Johnny. Oh my goodness. Pre pre insurance bill was twenty K for your daughter. Oh my god. Yeah, and I've had that since then. Per 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 peri per pericardi uh, all right. I might have said it wrong. I, I am not a doctor. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, this is flipping to him now. All right, 
Sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> People are like, why doesn't this guy play Civ? My bad. My bad. You're right. You're right. And that's a fair assessment. All right. Um, we're heading up this way. Build a lumber mill is something I could conceivably do at some point. Once again, uh, <laughs> what was it yesterday? I, we didn't have the wheel, but we were going to space or something like that. Pericardium is the sack. Okay, thank you. What's the myelin sheath then? Is that just a cell thing that I'm making up? Oh, that's around your spinal cord. I, you know what? I was thinking that 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 is that is also a part of my family's health history uh, because my dad has MS, and the myelin sheath goes around your spinal cord. Uh, Kazenia, thank you so much for the uh, the resub. Welcome on back for three months. Appreciate that a lot. Heck yeah. Heck yes, indeed. Thank you. Yeah, keep us get me back on track, won't you? I appreciate that with a sub notification. Much appreciated. See if we can get in here and explore. I believe that, Neil. I believe that for sure, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to do a trade route from you now. We already did this one. We'll try it again. Um, suzerain shift. Oh, suzerain shift because they're gone. All right, so it's going to be kind of rough going to space without any science sieves uh, or or mil or uh, industrial sieves. But uh, hey, we'll do our best. So this is. Good bit of walls. We get to use you again. Oh, I get to use you twice more? Hell, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's do that. Yo, Dr. Shots. Thank you, my friend. How are you? I'm doing okay. I miss D&D. A &D. little sad about that. Hey, TGM. How's your day been, buddy? Dude, thank you so much for the repeat prime sub. How you doing, Dr. Shots? Everybody say hi to me. Gosh, I, I don't even know how to introduce you, Shots. He's been my role-playing buddy uh, for, for, for going on years now. Uh, we've been having a good time playing D&D &D and things together. And he's, 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 he's hashtag good people. So everybody say hi to my buddy, Shots. Uh, sure, Adarash. You can. You can ask anything you want here. I'm going to chop that, I think. Let's go get this. Dude, thank you. I appreciate it. It's just true. Good people get points. <laughs> yeah, he oh, he gets good people points, yes. I was, I was thinking he's a good person, so he gets double points or something. But I'm like, what points? Yeah, that's that that's a that's a yikes cope. Is he the dwarven barbarian to my high elf bard? Uh no, no. But you know, ostensibly. <laughs> Last turn of the era, three turns left. Alright, I gotta I gotta I gotta focus on this. I have way too much fun with Chaz. The best part of streaming is hanging out with you guys and learning things, doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't too far off. Too, it wasn't too far off. He got to he he. This this is where I st we start talking D and D stories, and you guys realize that I'm the terrible person. It's not Daniel Craig at all. Uh, the visit. I haven't dropped any frames today. Knock on knock on wood. Adarash, I don't think that's um. I don't think that's uncommon for people working hard in their twenties. It's it's it, that FOMO thing is pretty real. Um, my suggestion to you, with 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 anybody that's doing college stuff, um, get through it. Just get through it, man. Like you you, you got to get through it. Then once you have that piece of paper, you're gonna you're gonna feel that much better, and then you can do whatever you want. Like you don't have to do something that says it or whatever. Like so, I would I would just keep at it. I I know that's not super helpful, but like. <sighs> Power through, you know, in a, in a way. Um, find find some things that make you happy. 
Hang out with us. We'll, 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 we'll touch you spiritually. Yeah, maybe, maybe go on like meetup and find a social group or something. I want someone in chat to be named Knock on Wood. Strictly spiritually, of course. Obviously, obviously. <laughs> uh, I, I've scared away like 20% of our audience today. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> um, that seems good. Seven. Go oh, you're going up through there. I mean, it's fine. I was hoping it would go like up through here. But oh well. A lot easier to find work with a college degree, exactly. Or you could just not use your degree and become a streamer. <laughs> exactly. That's what, I, that's what I was thinking too, Kyle. Same page. I'm a little nervous about him getting all feisty now. All right, so let's just search for it. Found one result, so then I'll go ahead and commit these guys. Do I get, I think I do. I'm gonna, no, I can't put in the policy. I don't have it. All right, that took off 10 turns. That's a lot of people too, man. Uh, finding finding connections on the on the on the internet and 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 yeah, I, I think that's a modern I think that's a modern issue. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously you need to you need to find people IRL to hang out with as well. All right, it is building time. What is he doing? Actually, it's builder time. Get builders. So we'll lock that in like that. Eight of nine, so I do need another farm here. Yeah, they're getting a builder, so we'll get a farm. No, we got Petra. We got Petra. Six to seven, so they need they need their dang districts. I need to chop this. Hey, you bring light in. How you doing? Okay, so we get a golden age here, which is nice. Yeah, me too, Themis. We got forward settled quite a bit, so we, we lost some of our land to come and settle. I should just do IRL streams sometimes so we can just chat and I don't feel like I have to play Civ at the same time. Well, Rome can't come for me. We're allied. I could go Monumentality. We just... We don't have any... I mean... We are getting a lot of builders. The extra movement is not for nothing. Huh. Yeah, that would work too, Themis. Although I, I think I almost think it'd be better at the beginning. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Um No, let's just go coinage. 
We'll figure out our, our, our builder situation. Let's go ahead and get this holy site now. I'm going to build the walls there instead. I'm going to chop things here with Magnus. <laughs> All right, Ordos. Thanks for being here, buddy. We'll see you later on. I appreciate you. All right, 10 turns left. I want to chop out Chichen. The the quicker we get to this culture boost, the the happier we'll be. What is Samaria doing? If he comes and settles this, I, I, I don't know what I'll do. I really don't. I'm just going to go sit on it. <laughs> Sorry, Zagrador. Might want to buy that. I know we'll flip it, but I don't even really want it. He's just looking for a friend. I'm already friends with him. What more can I do? Oh, we got chops. Oh. That's a bit awkward. That's exactly headshots. And I realize that's not the most, you know, I don't know, logical thing, I guess. All right, um, let's chop and eventually we'll repair this. Should I send these builders chop and then chop stuff up here with Magnus? Probably. Let's just finish off all this Magnus stuff. Yes, we we could absolutely let Samaria settle that city and have it loyalty flip to us. But this city just doesn't do that much for me. It would get like a harbor and then not much else. Like, And in a science game, I just don't think I need it. Not, not super interested. Barb camp up there. Colossus to Trajan. It's fine. Seems okay at the moment. Uh, could use some how? No, could use some farms here. Hey, Serentropic! Thank you so much for the repeat sub. Friendly crossbow cluster over there. Yeah, they're just hanging out. <laughs> I appreciate you a lot. Friendly Thank you. Crossbow cluster over there. Welcome on back for two months. Thank you for the two month prime sub. I appreciate it. Any tips to win military uh, victory on on what on divinity? Oh, on deity. Uh, yeah, early uh, generals are invaluable, um, and most of the time you could actually probably skip your uh, iron units unless you want to use knights or something like that. Um, and and kind of go go right to your niter like rush to niter find niter and then war with niter units uh, they tend to be powerful enough that you can start to catch back up even on deity oh, i need to chop that Get one more. We're going builder crazy at the moment. And that's okay. Just, 
I'm just going to switch this around because I know I'm leaving these these policies in. Serfdom will sub out here once we have a, a good amount of builders. Which is what we're working on currently. I want those turtles. And yeah, Russia gets their gross borders even when they take a city like that, which is really obnoxious. Um, speaking of which, he is... He's in a normal age. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to flip anything from him. So kind of annoying. Adarash, we appreciate you, man, and you're always welcome here. Um, it's it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to it's okay to be struggling, even if you've got a lot going for you. And yeah, best of luck, my friend. Let's go chop all this shenanigans. So this one we can chop. These ones we want to leave because of the bonus here. Might get their uh, campus up there as well. They're watching you and a few others yesterday. Finally, won your first game versus four of your friends with a dom victory over them. Nice, dude. Well done. Well done. And thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I didn't see that notification come across. Yes, I often, often build the intelligence agency. Ah, so it's starting. Okay. So he did decide to declare on me. That's not great. Also at war with Rome, though, and these are a lot of Roman units that can hopefully help me out. That's 600, 700 military score. Oh, I guess indirectly he declared on me because of our ally with Rome. I should have thought about that, I suppose. We still have to deal with it. I mean, we might as well say yes to this. I want to chop out my wonder. I want my Chichen. I guess I forget about this now and move my archer over to the, the front line, as it were. Cool, cool, cool. The Alexander Paradox. I love that. I haven't heard it called that. That's perfect, Johnny. I just want to make him pay. Nice. Pass this. That's good. And Soccer Man, thank you for gifting a sub over to Adarash. Hopefully that brings a little light to your day. Thank you, friends. Thanks for taking care of each other. See? See? We'll touch you spiritually. Some way. Somehow. Although I can't really re restore Kabul, <laughs> can I? I could. If we build a if we build a military, we could raise Alexandria or keep it and and liberate them. So that's interesting. It is interesting. Just sitting on my Chichenitsa tile like a jerk face. Or with Valletta, that's fine. I have the most interesting quotes. <sighs> yeah, 
I mean, there are there are like what seven hundred or so. So uh, hopefully, at least a couple are interesting. Although I realize that you're using interesting in a different way. I know, chat's been demanding a lot of my attention today. In a good way. In a good way. So we need to force you to grow. You can like all that just fine. You can have that for now. It's going to Russia too. <laughs> Vorbis, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the new subs, everybody. Thank you very much. I can't express that enough. Really means a lot. They could use a water mill, frankly. Row. Let's get the market there. That's an interesting road, sure. There's finally a friends list, list in magic? Oh yeah, of course you can add me. That's fun. I didn't realize they were doing that. <laughs> no, the point of the ad block story was that that person was insignificant, Soccer Man. Oh, thanks, Vorbis. Uh, Longtime lurker and YouTube sub. Scrub, though. I <laughs> love the Civ 6 content. Thank you very much. Thanks for helping support the channel. I appreciate that a lot. That was the point. Yeah, that was the point of the story. <laughs> no, I already, I already told it. I, I've, I've told it too many times. I can, uh, I, I can tell you it later. Shots. Just remind me on Monday. Oh yeah, this guy. Cause that's done. Ah, yes, and we get our alliance vision as well. Not even 100 science at turn 128. Feels bad, man. So I'm just going to chop out random things here. Just get Berlin up and running, get all their chops down. Um, get universities, things like that. Hey, Amaze, how you doing, buddy? What's happening? <laughs> but half the fun of Twitch is, is chat, so... Is what it is. I don't know that this city deserves a Hansa. I think it's too late. And we have too many of them down already. So they're too expensive. Don't really have to do anything with that. There we go. Probably one shot this guy, which is sad. Yeah, that's right. Eight turns until growth is okay. <laughs> Johnny. Uh, 
Why do I only think about the production cost when referring to the industrial zone and not other districts? Because inherent production won't win you the game versus science and getting to like science buildings or culture or holy sites, frankly, uh, does, right? So. That is the why of it. And again, it's easy to map it out because it's return on investment plus, um, plus uh, turns remaining. Eight of eight, we're housing capped here. They don't really need any other districts, so that's fine. Nice. I'd imagine the whole world. We killed a knight. Those knights of us. He declared on Rome, and we were allies with Rome. I probably should not have allied with Rome, but oh well. Why did I build a three tile Petra? Because it was fun. And we can do Petra. Which is also fun. Need them to grow. And it's four tiles plus the base of the city. So, you know, five ish. What would be the historian's take on the game thus far? Um, my neighbors annoying and me being annoying and me just trying to stay out of their way. Is basically what the Germans have been up to. Do we have a plus 10 industrial zone? Uh, no, it's plus 8. What do we have to finish here for it? I thought this was going to be plus 10. Hmm. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Who's the fastest capacity to win a culture victory? Probably Russia. Uh, although you could argue the Khmer doing a really janky strat, but I'm not a big fan of doing it. It works. I've seen it work, but... Um, uh, I would I would argue Russia. No pre-planned Hansa commercial of Aqueduct Dam triple. No, we did it. We did all that here. <laughs> so this one is currently. 14, it'll go up even more. Beat you to it, buddy. Beat you to it. Am I going to try that as Jay? No. No, I don't think so. So we can get crossbows now. That That's enough to defend against him. Interesting that he doesn't have walls. Like, a few knights could probably deal with all of this shenanigans. Hey, go. <laughs> Pull that guy back. 
Uh, a fox, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh God, we're so far over on this video. All I've did, all I did was talk to chat this video. I'm so sorry. If you, if you, if you dug that though, uh, come on by the live stream and we'll, we'll, we'll chat with you too. Thank you so much for watching. For watching over on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next one.